Good morning, everybody. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month or the remainder of February. We're going to be looking at what your person may be feeling. If you have a this person, what they may be like. This may or may not resonate with every Taurus out there. It's specifically going to be geared for the sun, the moon, and Venus. So let's just see what Taurus you can be looking forward to. I do do personal readings. If you want to book me, you can book me using the Terra Simple app, which is downloadable on Apple devices for free. You can use it to do your own free readings. And of course, like I said, book me. You can also use the direct booking link as well. That's in the description. I do appreciate all feedback. So comments, hitting that thumbs up and subscribing. It's the best way to show some love. I've got some cards that just flew out. So let's see what's going on with Taurus. So I'm seeing judgment. So there's some kind of awakening going on. I also have the Eight of Cups, the Five of Swords, and I also have here the Six of Cups. So already I can tell that this is some kind of soulmate connection, Taurus, that is between you and this person. Um, there's something about them or you walking away from some empty emotions or feelings maybe some emotional attachments in the past that didn't serve the higher good but there's definitely some kind of epiphany or big realization that is being made and it's going to happen again in the month of february but there's also something about some conflict that's going on this person may be all in their head or they may be there may have been some verbal you know complications that's occurred this is someone that's deeply connected to you on a soul level. Maybe someone you knew from a past. It could be an age difference here. But what I'm definitely seeing for sure, Taurus, is that with the Six of Cups, this is someone that, you know, you bring a sense of nostalgia of like the good old days, the good times is what you present or represent for this person. They definitely see you as someone that, um, you know, makes them feel reconnected with an aspect of the past. Or again, this may be someone that is a past person, but you bring out their inner child and you help them embody who they want to be for their future self. There's a sense with the Eight of Cups definitely about something that's being let go and, you know, an old reality emotionally to abandon any disappointments that may have happened. Um, and I believe the awakening is with this judgment, you know, that's the major energy that's going on with you and this person. There's some kind of self-realization and understanding that's um, being made in order for, you know, you guys to move into a new direction emotionally. And it's time to be totally transparent is what I'm getting. At the bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups. So there's something about maybe someone still hung up on some third party energy it doesn't have to be another person it could be but there's an aspect of boredom and you know once one or both of you get over something that may have felt like a disconnect or you know a disappointment there's an opportunity for new love because as you can see she's getting ready to recognize that cup once she is done looking at the stuff in the past so definitely something about some hurt and grief that is needing to be let go and to not feel helpless and hopeless and to stop holding back that may be what's you know going on so spirit show me how this person feels about taurus show me how this person feels about taurus sun and rising venus so the three of swords. So there's some hurt again, some grief. Um, but let's see what else they feel because that may not be all. There you are, Taurus, the higher font. But it's like they want a higher love, a higher level of understanding and commitment with you. 
They definitely see you as their empress, whether you're male or female, they're male or female. They see you as someone that, you know, is divine, that can help them come out of this hopeless place. They see that, you know, you're somebody that is, you know, spiritually in tune and deeply connected to the divine. Um, they feel like you're like someone who could teach them a lesson, probably in love. And it's like they see you as, you know, unique individual that embodies growth, abundance, and they feel like you're empathetic to how they feel. They feel you probably feel the hurt and grief that they're going through, and maybe you're helping them come out of it, but they definitely feel like you two are divinely connected. I'm a Taurus son, so I definitely can see how that could play out and why, but the Empress and the Hierophant are definitely Taurus cards along with Libra as well for the Empress. But they uh, they feel like they definitely feel your energy is what I'm hearing. So Spirit, tell me more about this Three of Cups. Why is it that Taurus and this person, I said Three of Cups, they want a reunion. That's probably why I'm thinking that. But tell me why we have the Three of Swords here for Taurus. What's up with this Three of Swords for how this person feels about Taurus? So, it's because the Queen of Wands, you could be dealing with someone with heavy fire in their chart and the Ace of Cups. Queen of Wands, you know, that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person wants a new beginning. They feel like you're magnetic and they're trying to overcome and heal from the pain that they've been experiencing or maybe that they've experienced and put you through with the connection they might have disappointed you somehow made you sad and now they're seeing that you know you guys can rise above this and have true love and that's what they're ultimately wanting that's what i'm seeing like this person sees you as someone that they could marry i have two married cards here this person sees you as someone that they could definitely view as their divine counterpart they're hoping for an emotional connection that brings you know stability and satisfaction to you both they're not really trying to play any games. Queen of Wands here is one of those things where, you know, you, they see you as a very passionate person and they are willing to fight for this and fight for you. And it's just one of those things where they feel like you probably bring them balance and bring balance to the connection uh, with the Three of Swords being the Queen of Wands and Ace of Cups. They're wanting to heal things because they know that there's been some kind of disappointment or misunderstanding that they want to move past and get over. They're, they're not trying to lose you. I feel like, you know, the Queen of Wands is a go-getter energy. They feel like, you know, their emotional nature when they're around you, is, they feel like you're magnetic. You pull them in and it's like, you know, you don't judge them even though... There may have been, you know, some times in the past because at the bottom of the deck is judgment. So they're making this realization that maybe you're a part of their healing. Spirit, tell me more about the Hierophant. I got one fallout. The Hierophant is clarified by the Two of Cups. Yeah, this person wants to come together and be with you, Taurus. They see you as, like I said, someone that is a soulmate connection that, you know, they can have unity and harmony with. They don't want to lose and miss out on an opportunity with you. They feel like you're their other half, a blessed partnership. Um, it doesn't always have to be, you know, apples and oranges with you guys because, uh, you know, yin and yang. But they feel like you're definitely like-minded souls on a soul level and, you know, they feel like you can both bring out the best in each other is what I'm hearing and that you can embrace the differences and accept things that they would want to have, you know, a partnership or co cooperation. They see that, you know, you guys could work as a team. Some of you may even work with this person in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Spirit, tell me more about the Empress here for Taurus, Sun, and Rising Venus. Why do they have the Empress here for them and their person? So the Empress is clarified again by the Three of Discs. And it's crazy because the Empress is card number three, but this person, like I said, they see you as 
connected on a body, mind, and spirit level. And that, you know, it's you, them, and the divine. And you work together to make beautiful things happen. And it's like they're willing to persevere and fight for this. They're not wanting to give up. There may have been some hurt. They may feel that they have hurt you. But they're planning on how they can come through. Uh, three of Wands, and me, that's Aries energy, especially for this deck with the Ram Horns. They see success, clarity, happiness, and they're trying to figure out how they can go get it. And it's like they're kind of being cautious, but they're getting ready to take a balanced step towards making things right. And they are not wanting to give up on this. They know that it's a situation where you're part of their destiny and they don't want to hurt you anymore. They're going to be coming through to probably make wise judgments to make sure that they leave behind the conflict and stuff in the past because they, you know, feel this six of cups with you. They feel like this is a deep soul connection and that you guys may have even had a past life. But ultimately, I'm going to go ahead and pull some moon oracle advice for you guys and see what else uh spirit has to say and then we'll close out this message spirit can you give me some moonology oracle messages for Taurus to, for advice for the rest of february please so it seems like this person there might have been some verbal like i said disagreements like this reading is for people that already know their person but there's something that they're wanting to maybe leave behind in order to have something new because they know that it's time to cooperate. Cooperation is kind of what I'm hearing here in teamwork. So mutable moon, nothing is set in stone. So there's still some changes that need to be made. It's not too late for this connection is what I'm hearing that, you know, Whatever it was doesn't have to be and that things still have time to fall in place the way they need to. Full moon and Gemini, the answers you need are coming. So if you've been wondering where this is going or who this is or what, you know, what's coming next, you're going to know by the end of this month, Taurus, we have, uh, what, 14, 13 more days. So you got about roughly two weeks. Communication is key. New Moon and Gemini. This is someone that's definitely Taurus, your divine counterpart with these Gemini cards. And also at the bottom of the deck, Full Moon and Aries. Um, so there was definitely some kind of conflict or things got heated at some point. But I think it's coming to a turning point if a fiery climax approached. Because when I look at the bottom of the deck, that tells me about the background story. And so there was definitely something, words, you know, that were had or disagreements and it's time to get over it and you know whatever it is doesn't have to remain also one more look at the bigger picture full moon and sagittarius so there's definitely a need for you guys to you know change the perspective and look at it from you know a holistic view and maybe not from so much of a you know subjective view and be more objective of how you view this situation because it's one of those things where you know, um, it's time to leave the past behind and focus on, you know, bringing love into the situation for both parties. And so that is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments below if this resonated. Hit that thumbs up if you like the message. And I hope you guys tune in. I know it's been a while, but um, I'm going to try to, you know, go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm working on, I'm not going to say try because words of power. I'm working on making sure I upload more regularly again. It's just been a lot going on in January. As you know, Venus was in retrograde. That is my son and you guys is, you know, Taurus is ruled by Venus and my moon is in Gemini. Well, that's ruled by Mercury. Everyone knows both of those planets just recently came out of retrograde. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope this is a good message and I hope you guys stick around. Thank you.